FAMU has been recruiting some playmakers to come into the program to make an instant impact. And this young man is coming into the program. He has no problem with making that impact immediately. And when I say this young man is going to get out there and ball, let me tell you something. There's going to be some defensive holes that we thought were going to be out there on that FAMU Rattlers football team this upcoming season. Oh, Coach Willie Simmons is filling them in. And this guy right here is one of those holes that just got filled. We're going to talk about him right after this. Your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down. I'm about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all the coming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. And tap in a friend or two and tell them to come on in. It's not but positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump on in this thing because I know you're like, Coach, wait a minute, filling holes? What, what gaps you talking about, fam? You ain't got no gaps on the defense? Well, listen, losing some key players on their defense like B.J. Bowler and Isaiah Lamb, who, are, who have both declared for the NFL draft, and I think both of those young men would do some great things on that next level. You got to understand, you got to bring the playmakers in there that's going to be able to come in and make that instant impact. Isaiah Lamb was a force to be reckoned with coming off the edge, as well as B.J. Bowler playing in that defensive backfield. So, with that being said, you already know Coach Willie Simmons is going to make a move with two to say, hey, listen, SWAC, we're putting y'all on notice right now because we got a guy that's ready to come into this program that is a double-team nightmare for offensive linemen. If they think they're going to get this young man blown up out the hole or just get him out the way for the running backs to run wherever it is that they wish to run, on his side of the field, you can forget about it because this young man knows how to use leverage to his advantage. What I mean by leverage? Well, you know, a lot of times when you see two offensive linemen go up against a defensive player, normally they're able to drive that defensive player about the hole where they're looking to run the ball to. Well, in this instance, this young man understands how to sink his hips, sink low, stay in that hole, and guess what? Just hold ground, hold ground long enough to locate, locate where the ball is going, left to right. If the ball is coming to the play side where they're blocking him to, guess what he's doing? He's sitting there baiting them, hoping that they're going to continue to keep trying to drive him up out of that, up out that hole, which he's got gap containment going on right there. He's not about to give up that gap. He's going to hold, he's going to maintain, hunker down and hold himself steady right there in that gap. And then when that play comes, boom. He's shutting that play down for a minimal game, or better yet, sometimes he might even shut it down for a loss. But I know a lot of y'all like, Coach, you up here giving us a, 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 a clash on daggone sitting in the gap, you know, trying to maintain the gap. We don't care nothing about no gap coverage. What can, this, what can this young man do out there on the field? Well, listen, let me tell you who the young man is. This young man, his name is Isaiah Paddock, defensive lineman, 6'3", 285 pounds, transfer from Cisco College. Now, he played... One year at Cisco College, this young man has three years of eligibility left. Now, this young man can play all of the interior positions on a defensive line. You can even put him out on the wide nine or as well as the seven position, as well as, you know, in that interior in there and just let him go to work. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. Me personally, watching this young man's film, I think he is a terrorist. And I don't mean to use that word because I know you two might get upset. This young man will upset offensive coordinators beyond their wildest belief when they're thinking that they're going to be able to move this kid out of that gap that he's containing on a defensive line of scrimmage thinking they're going to run that ball. It's just not going to happen. I'm going to say this one more time. Paddock is a lot, listen, Paddock has a lot to contend with playing out there on that defensive line. You can move this young man around all over that defensive line, wherever it is that you wish to put him, and he's going to be a problem. Offensive coordinators, I'm going to say this right now. If you think you're going to scheme this young man where you're going to either A, pull your offensive lineman from one side of the field to the other, thinking that you're going to block this young man and he's not going to blow up that play, forget about it. If you're thinking that you're going to go ahead and double team this kid to get him out the gap to run where he's at, forget about it. All I'm saying to you is this. Yes, this young man, you know, there, there's going to be some times where, you know, he might get out there in a battle or two here or there and he might come up short. I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, he is the, the Thor out there on the defensive line that just can't be moved. He's just going to go ahead and wave, wave his, his mallet and just go to work. No, I, I'm saying to you, I'm, I'm putting it to you like this. This kid going to go to work every time he line up out there on that ball. 
Every time you put that ball out there on the field and he got the line up, that young man is looking to get busy. And trust me, if your offensive lineman is not packing a lunch ready to go to work, he going to whoop your tail all day on day long. This young man, like I said before, has no problem with splitting double teams. He has no problem with shooting the gaps when that offensive lineman is trying to pull. He has no problem with riding the daggone, riding the offensive lineman down the field. You know, a lot of times they try to seal him off, trying to keep him from going backside to get to that play. Guess what? He'll sit there, let you ride, and you get comfortable when he come back and shoot that other side and stop that play. This young man, IQ out there on the field to locate the ball, especially when it comes to different formations, when the plays are being ran out there on the field, is something phenomenal to watch. I'm saying this again. <laughs> this is going to be something fun to watch, especially with this young man out there with that family defense. Now, while at Cisco, while at Cisco College, Isaiah Paddock played nine games, had 79 tackles, eight tackles for loss, and one sack. Now, Coach Willie Simmons, he may have struck gold with this one, especially with Isaiah Lamb moving on. Uh, to get into the NFL draft, hoping to, well, not hoping, I'm, I'm knowing this young man is probably going to get drafted by someone in the NFL. I believe he probably may go to the Raiders. That's just that's just my personal assumption, and I'll tell you why in another video. But yeah, I think he may go to the Raiders uh, because he's a good fit as far as with the type of uh, defensive ends that they look for to come out there and play in that, um, in that defensive scheme. But um, we'll say that for another time. But yes, um, I do believe Isaiah Paddock is going to come into Tallahassee, and he's going to shake up some things on that defense, letting everybody know in the swag, you better come in here prepared because if not, I'm coming to, I'm coming to take your lunch. It's just that simple. I'm, hey, congratulations to Coach Willie Simmons on finding more pieces to go to, some of those missing pieces that they had on both sides of the ball. This is another one that's going to be added to the family you lead, Rattlers football team, and congratulations to Isaiah Paddock on continuing your collegiate football career with the FAMU Rattlers football team. And definitely look forward to seeing you get out there this upcoming season and put in that work. But guys, Coach, we're going to go ahead and get up on out this thing. But until next time, be the one and lead.